Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching. My name's Eric, and welcome back to a brand new Bioshock video. In today's video, we're going back to our roots a little bit, and we're doing a brand new Bioshock lore video. Today, we're specifically going to delve deep into the murky waters of Rapture's history to explore the captivating character of Bill McDonough, Andrew Ryan's loyal right-hand man. Strap in, folks, because this is a story and an episode you won't want to miss. If you enjoy the video by the end and want to see more Bioshock content in the future, would you kindly drop a like? It helps this video within the YouTube algorithm, and it's very much appreciated. Also, would you kindly consider subscribing as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers and consider turning on all post notifications by hitting the bell and turning on all notifications that way you don't miss a future video or a future live stream with all that being said sit back relax and i hope you enjoy the story of bill mcdonough i never killed a man let alone a mate but this is what things come to i don't know if killing mr ryan will stop the war but I know it won't stop while that man breathes. I love Mr. Ryan, but I love Ratchet. If I have to kill one to save the other, so be it. Bill McDonough, a man whose love for the underwater city of Rapture was unparalleled. Being born and raised on Cheapside Street in London, McDonough's journey began at the East London School of Engineering and Mechanical Vocation. Little did he know that his skills, his unwavering dedication, and his unwavering loyalty would play a pivotal role in the creation of Andrew Ryan's vision, Rapture, yet ultimately lead to his own personal demise. When World War II erupted, McDonough enlisted in the Royal Air Force, bravely defending his homeland during the war, and also, more specifically, during the Blitz of London by the Germans. After the war, he set his sights on the land of opportunity, America, firmly believing that it was a place where a man could ascend to greatness, aka living the American dream. Eventually, after the move to America, McDonough found work as a plumbing contractor under the wing of a man named Bud Chanowski, dreaming of one day establishing his own plumbing empire. These were honorable and reasonable goals for himself. It was during this time, however, that fate decided to intervene, leading him to cross paths with the enigmatic and the one and only Andrew Ryan. McDonough's craftsmanship caught Andrew Ryan's attention very early on when he noticed the superior quality of the brass fixtures McDonough had installed. Inquiring more about his choice of said fixtures, Ryan was impressed by McDonough's dedication to perfection and awarded him the role of general contractor. This obviously granted him an invitation to Rapture, which is what you needed to live within the city or even visit the city for that matter. Little did Bill McDonough know that this would be the start to an extraordinary yet unfortunate journey. Bill McDonough's expertise, work ethic, and labor became completely indispensable in the construction and maintenance of Rapture. This allowed him to quickly ascend the ranks and earn Andrew Ryan's trust joining his inner circle. His skills, more specifically, earned him a seat on the City Council of Rapture. Owing to his close friendship with Ryan and his immense contribution to the City of Rapture's development. But, unfortunately, Bill McDonough's pragmatic nature began to reveal itself as Rapture was facing mounting challenges. He recognized the unrest simmering among the poor population that being brought on by Atlas, and sought to bridge the divide by convincing Andrew Ryan to engage in debates at the time with Sophia Lamb. Unfortunately, his efforts had unintended consequences, 
worsening Andrew Ryan's political standing and causing distrust with Ryan himself. McDonough also became one of the first council members to realize the dangers posed by Fontaine's plasmids business and his home for the poor. He pleaded and begged with Andrew Ryan to address the grievances felt by Fontaine's followers and to prevent further unrest. However, Andrew Ryan's decision to nationalize Fontaine Futuristics and lock up Atlas and his group not only contradicted his principles, but also shattered Bill McDonough's faith in his leader. Disillusioned, distraught, and disheartened, McDonough resigned from Rapture's city council in protest. As Rapture spiraled further and further into chaos, he realized that the only way to save the city he cherished was to take matters into his own hands. He himself was going to try to eliminate and assassinate Andrew Ryan. With a heavy heart, however, McDonough turned on Ryan in a desperate attempt to prevent the chaos in Rapture from escalating. But alas, as mentioned earlier, his valiant efforts were in vain, and his life was tragically cut short at the hands of Andrew Ryan. Out of a group of terrible people who lived within Rapture, I personally feel that Bill was the most pure at heart and wanted to do everything he could to help Andrew Ryan. But Andrew Ryan's ego got in the way and unfortunately led to his ultimate death. Bill McDonough also wanted to help with the longevity of Rapture because as stated at the beginning of the video within Bill McDonough's audio diary, he believed and loved Mr. Ryan, but he also believed in and loved Rapture. So he was essentially stuck between a rock and a hard place. He chose the city he loved and ultimately paid the ultimate price for it. Well, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone else watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, there isn't a lot of information about Bill McDonough within the game besides audio diaries and the occasional dialogue here and there between characters. So a lot of this information used in the video was taken from the in-game knowledge that we already had, but also John Shirley's book, Bioshock Rapture, which I'd highly recommend checking it out and giving it a read. I'll leave a link to it down in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself and purchase it. With that being said, let me know which character or location in the Bioshock series you'd like for me to cover next. If you enjoyed the video and want to see future content, again, would you kindly hit the subscribe button as we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. I'd very much appreciate that. Also, if you enjoyed and never want to miss a future video or live stream again, would you kindly hit that like button, which again helps with the YouTube algorithm, and turn on all post notifications by hitting the bell and clicking all. Thank you so much. If you'd like to talk to me outside of YouTube, be sure to follow me on my social medias, join my Discord server, or follow me on my other streaming platform, that being Kick, the links to which will be down in the description below along with the sources used in this video. The final thing I'd also like to mention is that on that kick.com stream site, I usually stream later in the night or just at random times. So if you want to go follow me over there just to see games that aren't Bioshock, by all means, feel free to do so. You don't have to, but it's very much appreciated. Again, that link along with my Discord, social medias and sources will be in the description. Thank you all so very much for watching today's video. With that being said, as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all within the next video. Bye, guys.